What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 3 Lore Through. Um, we're back here at the Undead Settlement. We're taking care of a few things. So, <clears throat> at the end of the last episode, I was thinking we would fight um, Aldrich again, but I was kind of mixing up the different Henri storylines. So I thought that you could still, even though we killed Henri, uh, we could still fight her, uh, or fight with her against Aldrich, like as part of her storyline. But I guess that ending just means that we, um, we ended it for her. So she did not get to defeat Aldrich, which I feel bad about, but... Um, uh, we're going to complete Sirius's, uh, quest line, and we're going to make a quick pit stop here to get, uh, Cornix's stuff that I said we would get, um, the other episode, which I didn't know how to get, and now I do. Okay. And I have to put everything back in my thing. Whip mottled with venomous looking spots favored by some female pyromancers of the Great Swamp. As its noxious appearance would suggest, damage from this whip poisons its victims slowly but surely grinding them to their deaths. The Tire of Cornix, Pyromancer of the Great Swamp. In the Great Swamp, it was customary to adorn oneself with articles of nature. Cornix favored the use of raven feathers. Ra Ravens are said to have once been firelink messengers, guiding the undead to the land of the ancient gods. Um, yeah, and I suppose that's, uh, they are not crows, they are ravens, so I guess that makes sense. Maybe it isn't Velka's doing. Attire of Cornix, the bronze ornamentation serves as the ward off evil spirits. Um... Long skirt emulates those worn by witches, who were the forebears of pyromancy. Okay. Um. And so yeah, Sirius's quest line now. Oh, there's an item here. Nice. So let's go help her again. This time we're going to have her defeat Hodrick, who we have tried to fight. We fought a couple times. Second time didn't go so well. I finally found you. Just as I promised, Grandad. Grandad? She's doing 14 per hit. This is really my fight. I'm the only one who can do damage. Oh, come on.
Oh. Protect me, Cirrus. Oh my god. That was brutal. Okay. This isn't the most exciting fight, you know, to be fair. Just, uh hitting him for like two damage for five minutes. I finally found you. Just as I promised, Grandad. Remember? Oh, <clears throat> well, that's kind of, I can't attack him when he's got his shield out because, yeah, that's, that's a one-shot kill. All right. Found you. Did not Just think this would take this many attempts. But he's powerful. I want Sirius to kill him. Good night, Grandad. Okay. 
So, oops. So now what we need to do... Can we fall down here without dying? I'm going to assume no. So now we can go and grab Hodrick's sunset stuff. Helm of Hodder, Holy Knight of the Sunless Realms. This light and gold helm, named for its sunset hues, is now faded and wrapped in tainted rags. The sorry fool was known to wander the battlefield as a crazed ghoul, lashing out at friend and foe alike. Yep. All right. Well, I'm gonna put some of this stuff away. In fact, we're just gonna grab some miracles so we can get some stuff going here. This is a miracle. No, I don't want that though. Sorcery miracle. Okay. Um. Okay, so now we want to go to Firelink. We're going to go get um, the shield. that uh, I guess Cirrus was using? Maybe Hodrick? I don't know. We shall see. But now Cirrus quest line is done, we can join the Fingers of Rosaria if we'd like. Sunset Shield. Shield of the Holy Knights of the Sunless Realms, engraved with a brilliant flame crest that burns brightly within the Order's customary sunset colors. This design symbolizes those who both harbor and oppose the power of flame. Alright. And there's Cirrus. Oh, there you are. I'm afraid I've involved you in my affairs over a little promise at that. My sincerest thanks for your assistance. At last, my grandfather will rest in peace, and I can die. But there is one last. May I take a vow to serve you as a knight? Sure. Oh, I am most grateful. I, Cirrus, do hereby serve as your faithful knight. Wherever, whenever I am needed, my loyalty shall never waver. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. If I may ever. I'll hold off on doing the Fingers of Rosaria thing for another time, and let's continue with the story. Let's attune spells. We only have one. Uh, so, we are going to get a saint's ring that gets us to two deep ring so we could do three for now and let's say we will do um This is, yeah, we don't want that. These are the same. Let's try uh, Lightning Spear. 
Oh, we don't have this one yet. 35. Door he's gnawing. And then I guess we can try, um... Homeward? For now? Um... And did, yeah, we need to put the final flask. Okay, I think we're done here. Um, so now let's go to the uh, distant manor and go through here with the dungeon. Oh, I need a catalyst. I don't even have one in my thing. Um, let's try, oops, Saint's Talisman or Sunlight Talisman, A, B, yeah, I'll use some, I'll use the Saint's Talisman, okay, and we'll get rid of this for now. Um, let's see how well this works. Although, we're going to be fighting a guy here that probably, well, oh, right, this part first. These guys run away from you, though, which means it's a trap. Okay, that doesn't work at all. some damage. I'll have to upgrade my faith quite a bit. I don't have much FP. <laughs> but we're gonna work with it. So, yeah, so I can't cast when I'm low. I can split up my vials if I need to later. So, uh, yeah, now we have Alva, Seeker of the Spurned. Feel very accomplished. The curved sword of Alver, seeker of the spurn, specially forged in an eastern land. Sharp but heavy, this sword requires extreme strength and dexterity to wield. The search for the spurned had no end, and so the wayfaring knight warmed to a most deformed weapon. <clears throat> Spin slash, and we saw that. Um, twenty eighteen. That's not much at all. Um. DC. I wonder if Mur Murakuma goes BB, if I can use that for my quality build. Still trying to figure that out, um, what I want for like the final part of the game. Um, yeah, you can see here like where we looked over the side earlier and probably like elements of how the world is just coming together. So yeah, that was Alva, Alva uh, who we learned about in Dark Souls 2, um, who was looking for a, a cure for the illness of St. Soretta. And um, 
um, and then who uh, that witch um, was kind of like trying to get him because she didn't like him but uh, from following him all the time she uh, ended up falling for him So here are the jailers. These are all locked. We'll come back. Okay, here's one. Cheap scares. These, these prisoners are actually quite tough. I figured it would take one hit to kill them. So, um, these jailers have an interesting mechanic where, like, they can minimize the, health, the amount of maximum health that you have. Do they have their lanterns or something? Oops. <laughs> There's a jailer's head on a chair and I didn't want to knock that over. Um, but yeah, these, these can be a little bit annoying. However, I, uh, I took care of them before they actually cause my health to shrink because then when your health comes back it comes back unfilled so it's just basically like them taking you down to no health kind of silly oh yeah here we are that's the jailer's mask and uh yeah there's the door there that we were gonna t that we're gonna take but We'll do that once we get the key. So this, uh, for those that played, uh, for those that have played, uh, Demon Souls, is very reminiscent of the Tower of Latria. At least it reminds me of that. I didn't play all the way through Demon Souls, but I certainly played through that section. Having these kind of like multi layered um, rows of uh, cells and such like that. Um, you know, it has its differences too, you know, but. Old sorcerer stuff. Traditional attire worn by sorcerer at the Vinheim Dragon School. Is this what we started with? Maybe I'm just thinking of the first first game. I started as a sorcerer then for sure. Oh, we have one of these guys. Turns out we will need These are at the Cathedral of the Deep. Whoa! Well, it gives us great magic shield. It's interesting. Um, I guess we'll do this.
Uh, and we've heard great magic shield. Sorcery which improves upon magic shield. Only sorcerer swordsmen with special duties are permitted to use the spell, which temporary grants even the smallest shield's fortitude more akin to that of a great shield. <clears throat> um, that kind of sounded a little bit more like the Melfian attitude towards sorceries that buff your, you know, swordsman equipment. Um, Melfia didn't like people that used sorceries for that. So there we go. Okay, it didn't give me that bad. Yeah, I guess these are like the corpses in the, uh, in the uh, graveyard by the Cathedral of the Deep. So I guess it makes sense that with these guys, um, come the, uh, those maggot men <laughs> that can like attack. Okay. So, here we have this very bizarre being that's just chained to the wall, or at least has chains, and uh, it's not hostile, but you can kill it. You don't get anything for it. And it becomes an enemy in, a, in just like a second. But I, I'm not sure why there's one of those. Maybe he's a peaceful one. Get a shortcut going. Oh, I went back, sorry. This is where I wanted to go. Jailbreaker's key. Key to the barred window in the Aerithil dungeon, but the window only leads to a bottomless black pit below, and above, a paltry view of the ruined profane capital. The very architecture appears to be a cruel joke the jailers played on would-be escapees. So, I'm just fully prepared to have my... dwindled. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this one's hostile. And they're not hostile because you attack the other one. That's our... We've had simple jumps before, yeah. Like, they're hostile no matter what. side we'll get to that in a bit and yeah we're basically not going to get this uh, twinkling titan yet. oh I guess we can if we do that because this guy always attacks it's a trap These guys look like they're sorcerers, they're blue-tipped catalysts or something, I don't know what tax they do. Alright, so we've cleared this area out, and actually I gotta pull my thing up to see, oops, sorry. I have to pull my uh, thing up to see what time we're at, okay, we're at a good time. Um... Got to figure out, I don't remember what doors we can open up. Uh, that's where we got the key. 
believe it only allows us to open the window. And I guess there might be another key then that we have to come back. Because we definitely can open this. But what about this? Nope. Okay. I guess there's another key set that can open up any door. And I guess we'll just have to come back through. Oops through get a couple of things so okay and that's where we're just gonna walk out but wait I wanted to get this item bellowing dragon crest string a spell a special ring given to those who are deemed fit to undertake the journey of discovery in Vinheim home of sorcery apropos of the dragon school the seal the seal depicts an everlasting dragon a bellowing dragon symbolizes the true nature of the consummate sorcerer very similar to oops <laughs> other ones we've read That was almost a death. All right. Get these, uh, these are different types of jailers. They don't have the, uh, they're more like the undead settlement jailers. Like they, the jail, there is none in the undead settlement, but I just mean that they're more like the undead settlement uh, enemies that you can roll into them. Yeah. Oh, and this is actually a... This is an uh, Estus Flash Shard, actually, so I guess there's more than 12. on these guys. Yeah, it is interesting. They're all the people from the undead settlement. Like, there's the hammer guys, but they have jailer masks on. Wow. Stunned. Weird. They only drop tongue pies. Oh yeah, we saw this guy too. The end of that long hall. Um, I'm just gonna see if there's an item down here. Cause there's a dragon. A dragon. There's a, uh, oh, maybe this can't be open. There's a giant. And uh, it won't wake up until we've attacked it. So, um, but there's a crystal lizard over here that we, I want to get. And then we have to kill the, the, the giant. Although I'm probably going to do that from... Uh, Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna do the uh, the giant from below, so. And that's another way you can come down. There's tons of rats down there. It's not the best. Can't get out. Okay. Um, 
that's the way to the profane capital. I hear basilisks. They come in through a vent somewhere once you pick up an item. Uh, that's a mimic. Old cell key. Key to the oldest cell in Aerithel Dungeon. The first prisoner of the dungeon was a lone giant. Calls for men. Yeah, I guess it's one more. Open that one. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, that made no sense. actually. Dark clutch ring. But we've read all the clutch rings, I'm sure it's the same. Increases dark attack. Yeah, Blondor. Clutch ring reveals the crestfallen. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'll guess I'll read the rest of this. Cells for men were built at his feet. Now I'm pretty sure the only way to get down here is by, I guess let's, uh, let's put the silver cat ring on for fun. I think the only way to get down here is by falling, pretty sure. And the uh, rats are infinite, unfortunately. This is another mimic? I wonder why there's so many mimics here. Three mimics in one area. Oh, Dragon Slayer Lightning Arrow. Um, I think this just brings us back up. So I'm gonna try to fight the uh, giant somehow. I don't know how that's gonna work with all these rats. Like, it doesn't matter if we kill these rats, I don't think, because, like, they just keep spawning. a lot. Oops. Okay, run away. Yeah, we don't have much health, unfortunately. They just have to do it one. Oh, we can kill the rats too. Whoa. I don't know how much.
much health he has left. Gotta be close now. Oh gosh. Okay, good. Ugh. Do they stop coming once I've beaten this? Like. Ooh, a chunk. Cause like there's someone I gotta talk to here. Profane flame. Pyromancy deriving from the profane flame engulfs foes at range and burns them to ashes. The profane capital was consumed by fire after Yorm the Giant became a lord of cinder. The fire born of the sky is said to have incinerated naught but human flesh. So, he, uh, will they go away if I talk to this guy? Hmm. Like, how do you talk to this guy? Mm. Mm. Uh, oh. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. Oh, look at me, trapped like a rat. But you needn't worry. I've just been sitting here wearing my options. The moment has almost come. I just need a bit more time. My liberation requires a key, but the key is outside. Hmm, a riddle for the ages. <laughs> I don't know why he makes me laugh, but he does. My liberation. Um, there's also an item in here. Um, let's go see if we can get that, um, crystal lizard, I guess. Um, without dying here, do I, I don't have a cat on anymore. Also, there's a shortcut that I should unlock. And I should probably just refresh it. Because there's not another bonfire for a while, so. Um, okay. I'm going to put this on just in case. Okay. So, this allows me to go back in to the thing above. Oh, lightning bolt. Okay, and then I can fall down here. And gone which is fine um okay it completely eliminates fall damage that's crazy okay let's unlock this hopefully we can get the rest done before The episode's out. Oops. Okay. Guess we should send this back up.
So I was saying about the profane flame uh, before we were talking to Sigurd, um, that he became a Lord of Cinder and that ended up burning up the entirety of the uh, profane capital. And um, it burned everyone alive in there, all of the subjects that he would have been Lord over. So. Gotta admit, that was scary. All those uh, rats in unison. Okay. another way here um okay so now we're in the lower level here and there's like 50 million jailers okay and so there's a dragon here as well as a bunch of Lothric knights and this dragon is gives us the dragon torso stone and he's looking at this area over here sitting on his mat making a gesture and so we need to get a gesture and then we can also figure out a secret stone imbued with the power of the everlasting dragons used in a secret rite by dragon worshippers gain the torso of a dragon and a torso a dragon's roar a transformation that is irreversible until death from ancient times the path of dragon worship had, was walked by warriors. It is said they envision Archdragon Peak in the depths of their meditation, and at times they even hear the distant sound of the great bell at the peak. So, yeah, we'll we'll touch on that later. Lightning Blade, not Sunlight Blade. Actually, um, where's the, right here. How much does that use, 30? Okay, I can do that. Miracle allegedly wielded by a certain dragon slayer knight in the Age of Gods. Reinforces right weapon with lightning. Tales of dragon slayers are now a rare thing, told only in fragments and whispers in remote regions. So I actually don't think there's anything up here. I just wanted to come up here to, I guess there's the uh, shortcut that I have to unlock. Um, you know, we're trying to roughly, oh yeah, and there's this, whatever. We're kind of trying to 100% the game. I mean, not like officially, officially, but might as well get everything. All right, and I think we're done falling. And um, now let's take on this myriad of jailers. Interesting. Is that a sorcery? Profaned coal. Oh, there's another one. And tailbone spear. 
Coal used for weapon infusion, remnants of the fire that burned down the profane capital, preserved in an icy skull, give to the blacksmith, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we didn't read pickaxe either. Tool used by a miner for digging up earth, not intended for use in battle. Yet the strong downward swing of this tool when shattered large boulders and easily punctures weaker armor galvanizes the skill. Temporarily boosts stamina recovery speed by sheer force of will, which an old miner needed to get through the day. Twisted spear cherished by the wretched failed prisoners of Irithil Dungeon. Crafted f from a feeble tailbone and seen as a sign of the dragons, their screams are oft heard inside the dungeon as they naively mutilate their unworthy flesh. And the skill is unleashed dragon. Thrust the spear to unleash the strength of dragon, similar to an ancient dragon weapon, only with its power tragically faded. I guess that's like the, uh, the tail that you cut off of the... The everlasting dragon in Ash Lake, maybe? I didn't I don't know that uh I don't know that uh weapon very well. I'm just debating whether I should just run in there and just do this. I'm out of stamina. She goes down so low, it's crazy. And it's like they they start going really fast and then set. Ooh. Okay. That's better. And there's Alva's stuff, because we defeated him. Uh, this is where we came in. Protection of Alva, Seeker of the Spurn. This steel helm is trimmed to reduce weight. To this day, troubadours sing of tales of this wandering knight, Alva, in his travels, and of his involvement with the saint and the witch. Needless to say, the songs traditionally end in tragedy. Yeah. Ooh, haven't found an ember for a while. And there is yet another mimic here, I remember. scale. So the first weapon that we found in, um, oh yeah, we're not going to be able to get everything here. Hmm. Um, oh yeah, and there's this guy from the Crucifixion Woods, but a red-eyed version. I was like, I hear another jailer.
Yeah, this is locked. We have to go forward and then come back. Um, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> but I guess we don't have to... Um, Xanthus Ashes. The first crowner. Um, we don't have to kill everyone to get to unlock that person, so... Umbral Ash of a sorcerer who explored the golden sorceries of a long lost land. With this, the shrine handmaid will prepare new items. They were called the Xanthus Scholars, but some foolishly imitate them by simply dressing in yellow. Um, and Dusk Crown. So I guess, yes, whoever was in this cell was um, a Xanthus Scholar. Leaf colored crown ring bestowed upon the princess of Ulusil, ancient land of golden sorceries. Ulusil is synonymous for its lost sorceries, of which the Xanthus sorcerers are dedicated scholars. This crown ring is a rare artifact of great magic heritage. Alright, so we are getting towards the end here, um, and we have found the profaned capital. And so I'm going to get down to the bonfire and then we can, uh, we can call it a, uh, an episode. Large soul of a weary soldier. There's a uh, gargoyle there. Uh, which I'm not going to fight uh, right now, just because I just want to get to the uh, to the bonfire. Okay. So yeah, um, so I get the stretch out, um, uh, emote, and then another undead bone shard off of Gilligan the Ladder Smith's body, <laughs> who no one likes. <laughs> it's not a, he's not a memorable, uh, NPC, so, uh, yep, he's gonna have to die here. Um, so yeah, actually, there's the profane flame right there. Anyway, um, that's gonna be it for this episode, getting through Irithyll Dungeon. And now, next, we're gonna try to get through the profane flame, or the profane capital. And, um, I'll see you next episode when we do that. Bye.